Hello everyone, I am Professor Umair Sultan and in this video I am going to show you how to add keyboard shortcuts to your HTML form in your website, how to add keyboard shortcuts to your HTML form. I would like to say that this video will be helpful to those who already have knowledge of HTML and CSS coding. So I am not using any JavaScript, I will tell you uh, an attribute in the HTML by which you can add keyboard shortcuts to your forms in any of your websites. So for this video I have taken a tutorial website uh, example in which teachers and professors who are using the website are adding a new topic to whatever they are subjects. Okay? So in this this is a normal form and you can see that in this in order to move from one input field to another input field there are two options you can move with your mouse and you can use the tab key pop again okay so what is the so what is this keyboard shortcut feature and how it will help so the keyboard shortcut feature is one which will give a user friendly experience to the users of your website whenever they are filling the form. So over here you can see if someone is over here and suddenly they decide that they need to update something on the topic name or anything then they have two options either one is to go with the mouse and click over here or they can click on shift tab and it will move up. And whenever you add a keyboard shortcut okay what will happen is the user who is currently in subtopic description field will be directly able to jump to this line where wherever you have added the keyboard feature where it is the keyboard shortcut feature so currently i have this code and what i'm going to do is you can see the topic name is over here so i'm going to add a keyboard that is the keyboard shortcut on this field in order to add it what i'm going to use is i'm going to add this attribute that is the access key i'm using visual i'm using visual studio from microsoft which is also known as vs code okay uh, for this example you can use any of the editors which are available to you and it will work in the same way so now this is the attribute which is access over here you will have to give any one key from the keyboard that you want to be used as the keyboard feature so i am going to give because it's a topic name so i'm going to place t over here so that whenever user presses t on the keyboard we can come to this spot now every browser has its own as its own keyboard shortcut to use this access key attribute I am using Google Chrome and in this you can use it like with alt and and the key which is assigned to it so in this case it's, we have assigned T to this topic name one so what I am going to do is I am going to give it a name over here give me a moment yeah so what I am going to do is I am going to underline this letter T in the form so that the user can understand easily by which they can come to this this section of the input page from wherever they are okay and I'm using the U tag okay this you can use your own CSS for it this is not the best practices of underlining any of uh, the letters on the label of the forms or anywhere that you are doing in your website so for this example i want to keep it simple so that's why i'm using this so i'm going to refresh this page and you can see when i'm refreshing it you can see that there is an underline on the t over here now i will shift my focus over here and i will go back directly over there by using alt t I pressed Alt D and you can see topic name field is highlighted now. Okay, and I can write anything in it uh, over here. 
Similarly, this feature of access key, you can add it to a n number of input fields as well as to the buttons over here, okay, in your project or in your website, and it will work in the same way. So I hope this will be very, very much easier for you to understand as to how you can give some user friendliness by adding keyboard shortcut feature to your projects, okay. And if you have liked, if you like this video, then uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And if you want me to make a series on HTML and CSS, then please uh, let me into the comment section. And I'm also adding my email address into the description of this video, so you can send me any questions related to web development uh, on it. So my email is Professor Umer Sultan. So it's P R O F and it's Umer Sultan. I have added it in it, and you can send me your queries on it. And once again, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Thank you.